Hey, I'm Max with Aura, and in this video, we'll teach you how loan fraud happens, how to spot it, and how to protect yourself from this serious threat. According to the Federal Trade Commission, there were over 204,000 reports of loan fraud in the United States in 2020 alone. Loan fraud can occur in many different forms, but in every case, it has the potential to ruin your credit rating, get in the way of buying a home, getting a loan, or starting a business. So what is loan fraud? Loan fraud is when a criminal uses your personal information to illegally obtain a loan. For example, someone might open a mortgage in your name or take out a payday loan and leave you to pay it off. Because loan fraud requires the theft and use of your personal information, it's considered a type of identity theft. Scammers can get access to your personal information through a number of different ways. They could use phishing scams to steal your personally identifiable information or get you to download malware that gives them access to your device. But due to the number of data breaches in recent years, the easiest option is to buy your account details on the dark web. So was loan fraud really that bad? Well, yes. At a minimum, a thief could take out multiple payday loans in your name. And in the worst case, a scammer could open a legitimate home, business, or car loan that you'll be on the hook for paying off. You could also be hit with a massive penalty on your credit score and even criminally prosecuted if you do not pay back that loan. So what do you do if you're the victim of loan fraud? Well, you might not notice that you've been affected by loan fraud until long after it happens. But the faster that you recognize the scam, the quicker that you can shut down the scammers and protect your credit. If you happen to have a credit monitoring service, you'll quickly be alerted to any suspicious activity or loans taken out in your name. Otherwise, the biggest red flags are a decrease in your credit score, calls from collection agencies, or receiving strange bills for accounts that you don't recognize. So if you think that you've been scammed, here's what you need to do next. Collect any screenshots, emails, or correspondence with the scammer that you think will help your case. Submit a report to the FTC on identitytheft.gov. This is your official statement of identity theft and can help protect you from being liable for fraudulent loans. File a police report with your local law enforcement. This is a necessary step when you know who stole your identity or when a financial institution requires a police report. Contact any impacted lenders, financial institutions, or government agencies. Set up a credit freeze or fraud alert. This makes it harder for scammers to open new loans in your name. And protect yourself from further identity theft. Aura protects your identity with credit monitoring, device and network protection, and $1 million in coverage for eligible losses due to identity theft. By staying alert, you can avoid many types of loan fraud and stay safe. So if you're ready for ironclad identity theft protection, go to Aura.com and sign up for a 14-day free trial. We'll see you next time.